This is News to Amuse. I'm Glenn Hansen. Well, if you're looking for a full-time temporary job, this one might work. The Oscar Mayer Company is looking for people who will drive their Wienermobile from June this year through June of next year. The Oscar Mayer Hot Doggers will represent the company at various events like media appearances, charity functions, and other celebrations. The Chicago-based company is looking for recent college graduates to take on the one-year paid job crisscrossing the entire country in the iconic 27-foot-long hot dog-shaped vehicle. So if you've just graduated from college and you're a bit of a hot dog and looking for a job you can relish and sink your teeth into, Oscar Mayer is looking for you. Next, we head to Kentucky, where a man there this past winter found a very unconventional way to clear the snow from his driveway. He used a flamethrower. Timothy Browning stunned people after a relative filmed him standing in his driveway wearing nothing but a white robe, socks, slippers, and a hat, recreating Cousin Eddie from the iconic holiday movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. In the nearly 30-second clip that became an internet sensation, Browning chugs a beer, throws it on the ground as he casually watches giant flames in front of him melt away the snow from his driveway. And as anyone who's ever shoveled snow can tell you, I don't know why somebody didn't think of this sooner. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. And we end today's newscast with this from Britain. British Airways is investigating reports that one of its Heathrow-based stewardesses is selling sex and her undergarments during and in between flights. Photos of the flight attendant's risque advertisements on social media were first reported by a London newspaper. Passengers are promised unspecified adult entertainment on board if the price is right. She allegedly said that if you give her a sum of money, you'll be treated to a whole different experience experience of your choice in flight. And that, my friends, gives a whole different meaning to the expression, Come fly to friendly skies. And that's News to Amuse. News to Amuse is produced by Don Ludden.